All right, guys, we're back in my kitchen. I just finished a workout and I'm starving. So I'm gonna show you guys one of the meals I make when I just don't wanna eat. So it's pretty simple. All our ingredients are usually the same. We're gonna add something a little bit different today. We're gonna to do some burritos. Now, the reason I do these, they're really easy to eat. It's a lot of carbs in a single shot and I'm putting down like if I eat, I'm probably gonna eat three of these wraps in a meal. That's about 75 grams of carbs just from uh, the wrap. Now, if I really wanna go crazy, I can add rice to the meal as well in the burrito. Then I'm gonna be up around 100, 150 grams of carbs, depending on how much rice I add. So if you're a hard gainer, or if you're in the off season, you're trying to get in a ton of calories in one shot, maybe post-workout or for a cheat meal and you don't wanna go out. Or like I said, if you're just a hard gainer and you have trouble eating, uh, this is something you do. Now you just gotta be always be weary that when you eat meals like this, it's gonna be harder to eat the one after if you pack it too much. So if I just do the burrito and the cheese and the meat, I'm gonna have uh, a good amount of food and I'm probably still gonna be able to eat in two hours. If I start adding rice and I start adding, adding avocado, I start adding a ton of calories, I'm probably gonna be full for four or five hours and that means gonna miss a meal and I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna make a good, calorie dense meal that is gonna leave you still hungry in a couple hours. So let's get to work. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cook our meat because it's gonna take the longest. So a little bit of Pam, I know you guys love that as usual. And then get the ground beef from Costco. Meat never ever fails, okay? Break that up real quick. Okay, I'll let that start cooking. And you guys know me, I'm not crazy with the spices. Just some salt. Some pepper. Okay, and today, let's spice it up a little bit today. We'll add a little bit of garlic powder. So you guys can stop giving me shit in the comments section that I don't have any special shit. Uh, now, because <laughs> garlic powder is special. So we're gonna add a little bit of uh, olive oil to this pan. That's more for taste than anything. I just like the flavor. And we're gonna saute up some vegetables. So we'll start with some yellow peppers. Knives are getting dull. I think I need to get a knife sharpener. Can't even cut through the pepper. Okay. We'll get that going. Always get your peppers going first because they take the longest to cook. We're going to do some mushrooms. So, like I've said in previous videos, guys, we're adding a little bit of, we're getting some micronutrients from the vegetables, but we're also adding flavor, okay? So, otherwise you just get a boring ass burrito with nothing in it except cheese and meat, which is not bad, but Okay, and we're gonna throw in some tomatoes. Let those cook down a bit. Man, I really do, do need to sharpen this knife. When you can't break through tomato skin, you have a problem. So yeah, so this is one of the meals I used to eat Kind of on a regular base for a little while I was eating them like every day because like I would do them for breakfast, I would do a, a breakfast burrito. The nice thing is you can do anything. I was doing a breakfast burrito where I would do like egg whites, eggs, and cheese, and a little bit of mayonnaise. And that was my, 
breakfast for a long time and, I, and when I really wanted to put on weight, I would do three of those sandwiches and then I would do a bowl of oatmeal. Now the reason we're doing three is because I don't like my burritos to be packed like way too much. So if I, put, I found if I put two ounces of meat, I'm doing six ounces of protein or six ounces of meat. So I found if I put two ounces of meat in each burrito, I can still roll it tight and it makes for a, a perfect size. If I put like three or four ounces of beef in one burrito, it doesn't close and it's all a mess. So I usually do three plus that gives me about 75 grams of carbs, which is perfect for what I want. Throw the tomatoes in there. And this is it, man. This is, um, you know, we talk about this every time we make stuff. It's just finding new ways to take the same foods. You guys have seen me cook this ground beef in other videos. Usually I put it with rice or I put it with pasta or I put it with something. And this is just another way. You know, with the burritos too, especially if you have a, a if you work and you got to take something on the road, your burrito is going to taste better you know, a couple hours later than just regular beef and rice or some boring ass shit like that. So it's a nice way to kind of make a sandwich and take it with you so that you can enjoy your lunch later if you're at work or whatever, right? So get the burritos out or the, the wraps. I'm gonna do three for me. We'll do one for the wife because she don't eat as much as I do, obviously. And for me, we're gonna do my favorite shitty cheese. Not quality cheese, shitty cheese. It just tastes a little bit better. I'm just gonna fold that in half. Now, how quality the protein is from your cheese from this cheese, I don't really know. It's not really why I'm eating it, I'm eating more for taste, but if you wanna count the numbers, there's about five grams of protein in each slice. So you got a little bit of extra protein that way too. But like I said, the quality of the protein, this processed cheese, who knows you know, how great it is, but I'm sure it still counts for something. So we're looking at five grams from the cheese times three is 15 grams. Plus we're gonna do six ounces of meat. There's about 50 grams of protein. So that's gonna give us about 65 grams of protein total for the meal. And we're gonna do about 75 grams because there's 25 grams in each, 25 grams of carbs in each wrap. So 75 grams of carbs, 65 grams of protein. It's really perfect. And then you're gonna get some extra carbs from the barbecue sauce, a little bit of simple sugars, and then a little bit from the, uh, the vegetables. Now we're also gonna add some pickles, so some extra sodium will help you with your pump. Don't be scared to eat a little bit of salt. You don't wanna go crazy. The most important thing with salt is that you just make sure it's pretty even every day. You don't want your sodium intake fluctuating too much. Vegetables look good. Meat's always done, almost done. And a long, you know, in a long off season, sometimes chicken and rice can get really fucking boring, or even beef and rice or whatever. It can get really, really monotonous. And I'm not sure why, but for some reason I can always eat beef and pasta, or I can always eat a sandwich like when it comes to these wraps it's like for some reason I'm never I never ever get sick of them so we're all set up it's pretty simple this is what we're gonna do we're gonna throw each wrap and I'm missing a pickle here because I gave it to my wife see she's got two I got one don't be an asshole if there's only one pickle left give it to your wife okay so we're gonna set that up there what we're gonna do is, OK, 
Okay, two ounces. Two ounces. Shit. I need a bigger kitchen. Is that what I need? Okay, and the last one, we'll get two ounces. Because even if, even if, look, even if you're making some food that's not traditional bodybuilding food, like a, a wrap or whatever you decide to make, it's still important to know what you're eating. We're not doing like an all out cheat meal where it doesn't fucking matter. This is still, I'm adding this to my daily meals. So I still wanna know that I'm getting the right amount of macros that I'm normally used to getting. Okay, and then my wife, she doesn't really measure her food. She just eats a little bit here and there. So I don't have to weigh hers out. Some vegetables. We'll do hers first because she's not big on tomatoes. So pick out some of the peppers for her and the mushrooms. And then I'm a big tomato guy, so Okay, there you go. And then we're just gonna finish it off with this Texas barbecue sauce, obviously a Costco special. All right, so now I got an awesome fucking meal. I got 75 grams of carbs. I got 65 grams of protein and it actually tastes really good. Just stuff that back in there. That's what just makes you wonder when you go to the restaurant, when you go to a restaurant and they fold it so simple, it's because there's like an ounce of protein in there and you think you're getting a full meal, but you're really not. Okay, there you go guys, it's finished. It's simple, it's easy. This is gonna go down real easy, man. It's like something I always look forward to eating. Like I said, 65 grams of protein, 75 grams of carbs minimum, and then you're gonna add some vegetables and the barbecue sauce and whatever else. But it's a good meal, man. It's like, it's gonna help you gain some weight. There's some good fats in there. There's some saturated fat from the beef. You got a little bit of fat in the uh, cheese. You got another four grams of fat per burrito. That's another 12 grams. So, it's a really calorie dense meal. And if you wanna make it even more dense, you can put rice in the wraps as well. I don't personally do that. I think this is enough calories for one meal. I still wanna be able to eat two hours later and that's the goal. All right guys, there you have it. Calorie dense meal, you got everything you need. I'm starving. I haven't eaten my post-workout meal yet. So I'm gonna get this shit in. Keep watching the channel, subscribe, share, check out the new videos, check out the podcast. We always got more stuff coming to you. And make sure that the most important thing is give your wife the pickle.